Well, hello everyone from Hiroshima, site of the atomic bomb here. We're at the Peace Park, and uh, Pinto has finally joined us here today, so we'll be seeing him a little bit earlier. This park is gargantuan. There's actually two sides of the river on the other side over there, and we're going to see the famous building in about two seconds here that uh, you may have seen before that uh, has been completely like destroyed by the uh, bomb, but still standing. I don't think this is ground zero or anything, but we're about to see that pretty soon. Hi everyone, good to see you all here. Welcome. This is pretty amazing, to be honest. Uh, welcome back live from Japan, everyone. Hey, thanks again, guys, for uh, tuning in and clicking and tapping uh, that like button to see more from Japan, too. I thought I'd run out of things to show you, but uh, every 10 seconds in Japan, there's like something I've been taking pictures of and stuff like that, so it's been incredible. All right, up here is the uh, large building that many of you have seen probably time and time again. Hi, Corey Matthew. Hi, everyone. Absolutely beautiful. Hi, Timothy. Welcome aboard, everyone. Yeah, it's like a storybook through Japan. I thought I'd end up with a lot of footage to edit towards the end, but this is actually very, very cool uh, being here live. We're actually at the uh, site of the atomic bomb in here, here in Hiroshima. And it's beautiful to see all the memorials and such to which essentially is the end of the Second World War and that just incredible uh, munition. You can see the fall colors starting to turn as well. All right, well, here it is, guys. Hi, Stefan. Looks like there's two sides to the park. And I noticed that there's some sort of a covered tunnel or something that, uh, oh, I see it right over there. You see that? That building right off over there? Mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of the bridge where we're going to go. How close can we get to the ruins? Can we go inside? All right, let's see if we can do that. As you can see, Pinto finally made it too. He's the one on the right with the green strap on him. There you go. Joined us last night after uh, being delayed by four days, but he finally made his way out, and we're happy that he's here. Why not rebuild it? Because it's a uh, very important site. Ruins. There's no radiation at this site. It's been over 80 years and it's not uh, a threat to humans any longer. We're talking about atomic bombs, not nuclear. So there's a difference in the atomic radiation. I'm not sure how old this building is. Probably from the early 1900s at least, judging by the dome. But there were two bombs, Nagasaki and Hiroshima, and this is one of them. Beautiful, beautiful sides of the river. Very gorgeous. Let's see if we can go inside. Oh, 
no, that's not, not a real joking matter. It's not, these weren't nukes, these were atomic bombs. There is a difference between nuclear, atomic, and also uh, hydrogen. There's a difference. So you're not very well educated if you think that this is still radioactive. There's nothing here any longer. But again, if you're interested in this part of history and uh, the Pacific Theater as well, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button because we might have the opportunity to go see a military museum sometime soon. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button so I know. Again, this is you voting here to see more of this stuff live. And this is kind of determining where we go on the trip. So if you want to see more historic sites like this, and especially some military museums, let me know. That's your way to vote. And thanks again, folks, for your support. All those super chats and people joining today. This is this is incredible. Kinsha, hi there. Sorry I missed uh, Adopt a Cat <laughs> cat Girl Day. Maybe there are some cat girls left in Akihabara you could pick up. You seem lonely? I'm actually with a few friends here today. Uh, Pinto, Uthris, and... Uh, Elmox have joined me here today. Thank you again for your support. That is fantastic. Let's see if we can go inside. Uh, no, there are no bits of radiation here. It's completely safe for people. Continuing to mention that is a radioactive... That's not going to... <laughs> That's not going to change science or physics by continuing to uh, ask or state that it is. It is not. That's why there's a park here, and that's why there's people casually walking around. That's not how that works. This weapon wasn't as powerful as the ones we have today. Incredible guys. After this explosion, there was a uh, intense fireball of the entire city because most things were made of wood, and with the wind being the way that it is, uh, it just incinerated everything. People dove into the river in order to try to survive, uh, and the water evaporated quickly because of all the intense heat. Again, there's no radiation here. I think we're going to move towards the other side of the river and see what's on the other side of the park. We'll take a look at some of these statues here, but the, the building is just huge. And you can see life continues here like normal. There's a train car right behind me. But people clearly care about what happened here. Well, the guys are just behind me. They're just down the way. They may have gone the other way. There's a bridge here we can cross. But let's take a look at these statues. So it wasn't completely destroyed because it was far enough away from the main blast radius and was a structure that was much more uh, well built with uh, steel and concrete and brick rather than uh, wood like most buildings were. Looks like that's the way to get across there, the bridge that leads to the left. I don't see any shadows of people yet, nor would I know where to look. We just got here. I'm not sure where to find everything, so we'll go look around.
I believe our friend Uthris is here as well to sketch some things as well. Uh, some of them, yeah, they do say some things, but I think a lot of it's just about the, some length, lengthy history about everything. Incredible. We're going to go over to the other side here in a second. You guys want to go across to the center? Over to the other side? There's a bridge over there that goes back to the other side. Which way are you going? Yeah. Is Uthris painting or drawing? Uh, no. Okay. meters is a little bit more like I tried to open maps to see if like I could get Pinto's oh, yeah. there uh, that's what? Pinto what up peeps and that's Elmox on the right yeah oh because this has Wi-Fi so we have Wi-Fi to figure out okay so this is north it's at Saudi oh. oh Pinto's just another friend of ours that's his last name we're going to go over to the center of the island here in a second, guys. So that should be uh, pretty cool to see a little bit more of the monument. Thanks again, guys, for your support. And uh, it's been awesome so far here in Japan. As you can see, life continues. Street cars going by. Giant buildings everywhere. Just right next to it. Incredible. Because I, I would I'd be surprised they didn't have, you know, if they knew where it actually dropped. You know, so ground zero was that large pillar that we saw? That's what we're thinking. Okay. So, so that it was basically meters from this building. 160 to be exact. Wow. <laughs> there are people inside there. They are, said, are they maintaining it? Yep, they said they uh, have a huge fund to make sure that this building looks exactly like it did when the uh, bomb hit, or after the bomb hit. Wow. Look at that iron. But yeah, everything's right? twisted and melted. Yeah, it's a huge building, guys. That's probably not even the complete structure either. This is this is all that's standing from it. For those of you who may have studied this, uh, this is probably this is all that's left of the building, really. Oh, we're just speaking quietly because it's a peace park. But you can turn your volume up if you're having trouble hearing. Oh, here's Uthras over here. Let's see if he's uh, doing some drawings now. Oh yeah, there you go, man. Yeah, he's getting started on the top of the tower. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's Uthras there. And then uh, Pinto's on the left and Elmox is on the right, as you guys have seen before. I think we're going to walk over to the other side here in a, mi a minute. There's some more monuments and such on the other side, um, but this is the main ruins. Man, is that incredible. Really amazing to see that. Hi, Pro Luigi. Also, we're not here to stream just for you. Uh, so if you're leaving because you haven't been acknowledged or something, it's not all about you. Uh, we're here in Japan to uh, show off our trip and everything for all of our viewers. So if you didn't get a shout out or your needs catered to, hop out because it's not all about you, man. It's about all the people here who tune in. And uh, if you have a question or something, you can always drop a super chat to support the stream. And if that's too much to ask and uh, you need to have your uh, needs catered to, uh, hop out, man. 
Uh, no, Zoe's not going to do that. I think the uh, two that we did in order to end the war was more than necessary. And uh, it was a good thing, I think, to end the war as quickly as we did rather than having a, uh, some sort of a, an invasion, which probably wouldn't have ended well for either side in terms of losses and even more destruction. Hi, Norman. All right, well, these guys are hanging out here. I'm going to walk to the other side. Yes, this is from World War II. The uh, bomb was dropped uh, in uh, 1945, both of them. We're going to walk over to the other side. There's more uh, to the park on the uh, other side there. So we're going to get, just walk across the bridge and see what's on the other side. But man, this is an incredible sight. There's even more here. I think that may be a monument there. No, that's actually uh, more destruction. Incredible. Hi, Polish guy. Well, thank you very much, Britain. Nice to have you here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is incredible uh, to be here. Uh, this is something that I've only seen in the history books a million times, but it's different when you're here. Okay, I'm going to make my way up to this uh, bridge. Do you think Japan or the U.S. should apologize? I believe Japan has already apologized for it, but I think in today's day and age, we need to not uh, worry about grudges so much from the past of things and decisions that we didn't make. You'd have to be well near 100 years old to be responsible for that. But in today's world, I think it's best about getting along and pushing forward. I'm going to walk all the way to the other side. There seems to be some more monuments there, a clock. I think that rings every perhaps hour or perhaps every, every day when they, it actually hit, perhaps. They're doing some good upkeep here. Hi there, Burrow. Yeah, it's really incredible. I'll give you guys a last close-up from the uh, close to the building as you can get. You can see there where there was some sort of an entrance. I'm not sure if this was a hotel or a government building or what, but you can see all the damage. Incredible. Yeah, but yeah, the enemy was quite resilient, so doing that was more of a. It wasn't as much to cause destruction as it was to demoralize. I'm not sure what the building was originally. I think it was government offices or perhaps uh, some, something important if it was made of brick and steel and stone. So we'll make our way across again. All right, there's more to this. We're gonna go across to the other side. Obviously the damage was the whole city. There's a lot of cities from World War II that have been rebuilt, such as Rotterdam from German bombings. Huge mountains around here as well. All right, let's go across and see what's over there. if there's shadow of people anywhere, but I'll, I'll look. I know there, that exists, but we'll see. We're going to walk over to the uh, park here that's in the center, more of the monument. Perhaps we could see the person on the stairs. We may have already passed it, I'm not sure. There was uh, a person where after the blast, um, essentially the light was so bright that it you can actually see a shadow of a person there. Has anyone asked where I'm from? No. But it is a nice day here. It's probably about uh, 20 degrees Celsius. 
about 72 degrees. I think I've seen one person fishing, yeah. Uh, what other landmarks are we considering visiting? There's a few museums, a few different parks and things like that. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Yeah, it's a beautiful view. fly drones here. I know at uh, Himji Castle you weren't allowed to do that either, but uh, oh yeah, it's 29 degrees back in Minnesota. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad I'm in Japan then. It's nice and warm here, but uh, it's not very uh, well, it's a work day, so people are at work. Yeah, everything was rebuilt relatively quickly after the war. Amazing. Yeah, we may see other monuments, but behind me there was the Peace Clock Tower built in 1967. And again, this is all possible from you guys and your crazy support. So thank you very much for uh, clicking and tapping the like button or um, telling a friend or just watching or dropping a super chat or joining. Appreciate it, guys. Very much so. Yeah, you can talk to the locals, but I think this is a place where you just need to be relatively quiet. It's amazing. Yeah, that building is definitely like uh, 1900s, maybe World War One. bell here. Maybe they'll ring it. Should I ring the bell? You guys want me to go ring the bell? Oh, let's beat the tour group up there.
ちょうどみんな来るんよ一人が来るんじゃないのよみんなで引っ張るんだけどみんなは引っ張れんけんこっち側来て引っ張るできるだけみんなでもう1回だけよで大丈夫で打ち方は引っ張って離すだけ打っちゃダメよ I'll ring the bell as soon as they're done It's a beautiful, beautiful park. Looks like there's a, a mountain over there or something with a tunnel into it. There's so many different monuments here, it's incredible. Kids are done. Okay, guys, let's make peace, shall we? Okay, let's do it. Bell in Hiroshima. Very precious. There they go again. Let's listen one more time and then we'll make our way to other exhibits here. Yeah, I rang it. Isn't that amazing, guys? I didn't know you could actually do that. Touched a bit of history today with the ringing of the Hiroshima bell. The peace bell is what it's known. How did I get here? From the endless support of all you guys. So that was on behalf of each and every one of you who tunes in for all the war content and everything like that. Well, there's always an end to war, and that's peace. And that's what we're seeing here today. I just want to hear the bell one more time before we go. And then we will, uh, oh, here we go. It's probably going to be loud. Here we go. Hi everyone, they're ringing the bell. Incredible. So if you come to the city of Hiroshima, you can make peace as well in the Peace Park. It's beautiful. Entering, interesting uh, piece of history. There seems to be a mound over there that we can go over to. Let's see what's underground. Maybe there's a bunker or something. There's lots of monuments here. I'm really impressed. And it is beautiful. I believe the bomb detonated just on the other side over there. There was a monument that we saw at the very start, which I think was ground zero. Right there, you might be able to see it, a concrete structure. You've been only watching for a month. Thank you very much for uh, supporting. That is awesome. This place is absolutely huge. This must have been a downtown area that was converted into a uh, park at some point. Beautiful, all the trees. Yeah, so we just rang the peace bell uh, for the city of Hiroshima. Incredible. There's a few more monuments we can go into as well. Uh, there's a few tunnels and different things. Yeah, it's a nice break from work, Andrew. Yeah, it's nice to have uh, so many supporters, too, to entertain. So thanks again, guys, for uh, 
liking the video. Of course, if you want to see a war museum too, let me know. If you guys want to click or tap that like button, we can try to find a uh, military museum here soon and live stream from that. So if you're interested, let me know. And speaking of bells, make sure you click or tap the uh, notification bell as well. Seems to be another bell here we can ring. Let's see. Wow, much more to see. Well, let's keep looking around. There's a uh, tomb of uh, unidentified people, I su suppose. There's a building over there. It could be a, a rebuilt building as well. to see here. There's so much to see. This is ridiculous. I thought it may be just one building surrounded by other buildings, but this is just a, this is huge. We're going to go see what seems to be a tomb or something like that. Yes, yeah, so we're right near where the uh, the bomb was and we're kind of just looking around here today at some of the incredible uh, things. Uthras is nearby. Some One of our friends is actually doing a drawing of the building you saw earlier. Um, we're going to go over to something that seems to be a tomb of some sort for un unidentified people who were essentially, I suppose, vaporized, for lack of a better term. In the well, as you can see, guys, things are rebuilt. There's not radi the atomic and um, hydrogen and nuclear are all different. The radiation didn't last as long here. These bombs weren't as powerful as what we have today. go inside this uh, big building here. Seems to be a, some sort of a mound or something. Let's go up here. go inside but wow all right there's one more monument I want to try to see on the other side see what we can see 
There might be another one across the street. Well, thanks again, guys, for tuning in, all you viewers and everything. Supporting the streams, fantastic. It's a beautiful place. If you're thinking about going, then the answer is definitely yes. Get a good group of friends to go with you to uh, Japan. Again, we're in Hiroshima near the uh, uh, bomb blast where some buildings have destroyed. Now it's known as the Peace Park, which is uh, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that seemed to be a, a grave of the unknown uh, people who may have died here in Hiroshima in 1945. And life goes on. That's a huge bird. Look at that thing. Size of my hand. <laughs> right, there seems to be a tunnel over here. I'm going to go look at this. And as you can see, it's a, just a very beautiful place, very pristine for uh, the size of it. There's a lot of people here cleaning and, and uh, raking and doing such, so the city and the people will take very good care of it. It's a very important uh, site for, for peace, really. You can see all the school kids coming in. It's a school day, you know. more to the monument over here. Uh, go to the site of Battle of the Bulge. I don't think that's just one specific site. But there's one more thing I wanted to see over here. Look at the great care taken here. It's beautiful. Uh, today's Friday actually in Japan. Remember we're 16 hours ahead of the United States so if you're watching from uh, the United States. So many little monuments and tributes and everything here. Little statues and sculptures. Flag of Japan there that you can't see. The wind's not really blowing today. We're going to make our way to this, which looks to be like a covered wagon. That's interesting. Oh, there's a uh, memorial flame at the end of it. Might be hard for you to see, but there's a flame at that uh, structure at the end. Gosh, guys, look at this. Thanks for tuning in, Maximus. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to be quiet for a second as we approach the monument, so just give me a moment. Uh, you can see the building right on the other side. There's a small uh, memorial flame, and then you can see the uh, ruins of Hiroshima there on the other side. Plenty of flowers everywhere. People uh, paying tribute, whether they knew people or not, with flowers and coins, trinkets. Incredible. All right, well, I'm going to take some uh, screen sh uh, some pictures then on my own and uh, head up back with the guys. We'll be live a little bit... Uh, later I think for some more so um, let's go over here and check out some stuff here just walk back up this way
I'm going to take some pictures in a moment, but... Let's take a look over here. And again, if you're new here, welcome to all you new subscribers. Typically we do some gaming, but we're taking some time here in Japan for uh, some fun trips. Right now it's about 11. So far, so good. Beautiful statues everywhere. Now right, we're going to take a look at this last building over here. There's probably more to see that we haven't. Actually, what that is over there is the, uh, the main building of the Peace Memorial Museum is undergoing earthquake proofing and renovation. So there will be a museum here, or there was. So if you want to see more, that building closed at the moment, but there's a whole museum. It looks like there's a wing off to the right side, so there's a whole museum here too. Looks like there's a memorial hall, there's a museum. So many things to see, guys. And this is a very big park. Check this out a little bit later. I don't know if the hours. I'll meet up with the guys and we'll go down there and I'll take some more pictures. All right. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and follow on Instagram down below. I'll give you guys all the shout out, whoever uh, follows on Instagram right now to see more from Japan. We've got a lot more food, a lot more. Uh, World War II, a lot more history uh, from World War II, World War I, and ancient times to show off. This has been an incredible experience so far. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop off here for now. Stay tuned for more pictures. There is so much more to this park to see with museums undergoing renovation and the park spanning both sides of the river. Incredible. All right, guys, I'll see you very soon. If you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button on the way out to let me know you'd like to see more live from Japan and of course more content in the future including uh, military uh, streams and such of the museums and things that are here so if you want to see a museum make sure you click or tap that like button on the way out because it is going to be awesome thanks again to Kinsha for the support Pix thank you very much for being here a shout out to all of you being here uh, let's see Pax5056 thank you for following Christopher Kaler thank you very much for following as well this is incredible What's up, Cole Chapman? Right, I'm going to end the stream here in uh, about a minute. So if you haven't already, follow on Instagram down below in the links. And also go ahead and do so on Twitter. I'm going to be sending a lot more photos out there. And I think you guys are going to want to see some of this stuff. It is incredible. Japan is very cool. And it's nice to see with friends as well. All right. Well, that is it, everyone, for the stream. And I will see you all next time. Live from Hiroshima, Japan. It's a crazy dinosaur man out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Have yourself a great day. And I'll see you soon. Next time I stream will be something interesting, a museum or something else. Thanks again for clicking and tapping that like button. You guys are awesome. So thank you very much for your support. And I will see you all very soon. I'm going to take some more photos, so I'll see you all on Instagram. Bye, and have a great day. Thanks again, everyone, for your support.